Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my Christmas home tour 2022. I'm starting outside with, I have these lights that light up. Um, they're on a timer from Walmart. And then these three little trees here were from Aldi. And then on my deck I just have green lights wrapped around with some garland I got from Walmart. And then I have this cute little gingerbread map that I got from, uh, I think it was Kirkland's online. And there's my little Luna. Now we will go inside. It smells so Christmassy in here. So on my front door, I have a wreath and I tied a red bow. And I believe this came from Big Lots last year. All right, let me close the door. I have lots of wreaths this year. I just love them. Um, on the back of the front door, I have this wreath that I got at Lowe's that has lights on it. My little door jingle thing. I think I got that from Walmart and I didn't tie the ribbon, the ribbon came. But as you enter, you walk in and you see my staircase with the lighted garland going all the way up. And I'm going to give you a better shot. So here I have my basket, longer burger with some cotton and some berry stems from eucalyptus. The berry stems are new from um, Michael's. And then I had the garland coming down and I got bells on it that I got this year. In this little section, I moved my um, little blanket ladder because I got a new one I'll show you. And I have the same setup here with these little bells. I think this came from Factory Craft Direct. Um, on my little copper two-tiered tray, I have some bells that I got off Amazon. They do work. This came from Target Dollar Spot along with this. They were like in a set. And then this one, or I bought two different sets. Um, then I have my little cup pitcher with little wire rusty candy canes. That's what they are. Um, came from Etsy and these picks. Um, I don't know if I got them from Michaels or I had them. Here's some more stuff from the Dot Target dollar spot. My little sugar mold with my red candles in it. This sign came from Target dollar spot a couple years ago, I believe. Here's some more dollar spot things. These were actually white. You can kind of see I spray painted them uh, black, but I could be spray painted a little bit better because I wanted black. Um, this big bell came from a place online I can't remember. And then down below, I don't really have anything. It's my same stuff. My little Luna's whining away. So you come in here. Here's our Christmas tree from um, Balsam Hill. I've had for I think three years now. The collar on it, that is from Walmart this year. I had a red um, metal one. This year I decorated my tree and just all traditional ornaments that I had instead of the balls that I do every year. Because my son said, I want the tree, he told me this last year, I want the tree to be decorated with all the old ornaments. So let me back up so I can get a better picture here. And then, those two little deer over there came from Cracker Barrel this year. They're so cute. It's a boy and a girl, but they're not on a timer, so I can't put them outside. You have to turn them on and off, but they're vintage and they're super cute. Back here, I have my two pillow covers. <laughs> they actually stay out all year round. I just flip them around. The basket I got at TJ Maxx last year that I was going to use for my tree skirt, never did. I put, I had that blanket and I bought those bells from Walmart. Turning around, I have the Santa window picture is from Decor Steels. This is from Joann's. Uh, I just have my scale with my two little wreaths, and I can't get this one straight. It keeps leaning with little red tea lights in it, my little counter, and just a little ornament. And then my mantle. I had such a hard time with this garland. It kept falling. It's the garland from Kirkland's that looks real. The Norfolk, 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 
I can't pronounce it right, uh, Real Touch Garland. So I finally just fixed it again today. I couldn't have a drape. I've tried command, command hooks, the one, the new ones that like loop and hook it in. I've used regular hooks. I've used them to hold 15 pounds. They don't, I think it's the stain that's on this. It's like super slippery. They don't stick. I've let them stick overnight before I put anything on them. So this is the best I could do. I got bells. I want, I don't know. I bought a bunch of, I have a bunch of these bells. So it's two garlands. I tied three red velvet bows. I have a, a string of bells that I don't remember where I got them from. And then I have um, picks in here, like blackberry picks. And then these icicle, like twigs with icicles on them picks. And these have a fairy lights on them, but they're on a timer, so I'm not going to turn them on. Um, over here, I have two gold deer that I got at TJ Maxx. Um, and the tree, I believe, is from TJ Maxx. These are on a timer. These three, I got three little, three ornaments. They came from LTD Commodities. They're all on timers. This came from Target. Then I have my brass or gold, gold candlesticks, which is candles in them from the Dollar Tree. Those candlesticks came from Hobby Lobby. Um, and then I have a star and I bought a bunch of these stars from Walmart. I bought eight of them because I thought I was going to put them in my windows, but instead you can kind of see the, the shadows. I have wreaths in each eight of my front windows, plus the candles that come on later. So, and over on this, um, end table, I have, I had that like a rusty antique croc thing. I think I got it from Target. Then I have more of these North Fork stems that came from Kirkland. Luna has to be in the picture. Hey, Luna. Hi, baby girl. You like the attention. Then I have some of those berry picks that I got from Michael's and Pinecone picks that I got from, I think, Kirkland's. I don't have a Kirkland's around me, so I'm limited to what I can get online. The closest Kirkland's is like an hour and a half away. So... Then my dining room really is not, I did do, it's still kind of messy. I did decorate this hutch a little. I had this red reindeer. I put a red, uh, green velvet bow, my dough bowl. I put ornaments and had the plum picks, put some red picks in it. Um, I got these candlestick holders. There's a set of three from Decor Steels and more candles from the Dollar Tree. I got this from Walmart. It's, um. Uh, wax warmer it has the wax and it has a timer on it you can do it for two hours four hours or eight hours and then over on my scale that's my son's video game he got last year over on my scale i have some ornaments this is not and then in the table i have this huge gold bow i got from decor steels and then i put a bunch of ornaments in it and picks and greenery and then on the table are the kids um Advent calendars and Luna's advent calendar. Now we'll walk into the kitchen. And in the kitchen here, we have a wreath on the basement door that came from Walmart. I didn't do anything to it. Those are the bows that came with it. Then I have my two little wreaths here from Hobby Lobby, I think. I think these are like juniper berry wreaths. And I just put some homespun fabric on them and hung them. Um... Nothing. Oh, I do have a little Christmas tree with a strand of um, like fairy lights on it, but they're not on a timer. And I just tied a red velvet bow around it. This is my half bath that I have um, a wreath that I think most of these came from Walmart. And I think I got them last year. And then that holder is from Joann's. I believe I really, or it might be from um, Walmart. I can't remember. And then in the bathroom, I have nothing really new except this little um, holder. And see, when you push on it to get soap out, it lights up this from Bath and Body Works. And I just have my little thing from Bath and Body Works, my wax well warmer. Then you come back out here in my kitchen and minimal. Um, my husband will say it's a lot. He doesn't like all this decor. I have a tree, uh, a runner that I had from last year 
this gold bowl, I believe is from Target with rusty bells and some little pieces of real pine in there. Um, let me come around to this way. So the reindeer came from TJ Maxx. He's like cement. And I didn't realize it till I had him home for a while that his antler is broken right there, but that's okay. That is a light. Um, I put fairy lights in there. They turn on at night. That's um, from the dollar spot at Target. You come over here and nothing because I don't really do a coffee bar. I just have my syrups and my little Christmas mug. Sorry, this is moving. And then my little sign that I've had on top of the um, stove. I have this Merry Christmas velvet wood with velvet on it. Um, I believe this came from like TJ Maxx. Here's one of these things from the dollar spot. And then over here, I have my mixer with just a black towel. I don't even do the Christmas towels anymore because I don't have room to store all this stuff. And I just use regular towels. This is my little cloche. And these are little fake cookies that I got off of Etsy. They look real. Um, and these are from Hearth and Hand last year, cookie cutters. Um, and then over in this little section, I have um, some cutting boards, a cutting board. This is from the Target Dollar Spot. That's my Scentsy Wax Warmer with um, pine in it, little antique spoons. I think those came from House and Home, but they're no longer in business. This little wooden reindeer, which is kind of like a dupe, I think, for Crate and Barrel. It's not exactly, but it came from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Um, this little snow um, Santa cookie jar from the Target dollars, but I just seen it today. It was $5, the only one they had, so I grabbed it. He's so cute. And this is from, I think, Anthropology. It has a candle in it. It's a little wooden house. I haven't burned it yet. You can't obviously burn it with the um, top on because there's no thing that goes through. It's not like a wax, um, like an incense thing. And that might be a wood wick. I'm not sure. I have to um, burn that, but it's on the pricer side, but I really liked it. So now I'm going to step back over here and just scan the kitchen again. So, and then we're going to go into the family room. There's my wreath. I'm on top of my the refrigerator didn't really change. Here's what it looks like. There's not really a ton of decor. I was trying to go more minimal, mostly just garlands and wreaths this year with a little bit of accents. Now we're going to go around into the family room. This wreath I've had, it's, I believe this one is from Walmart, I know. Um, it has like the frosted berries on it with pine cones. Very pretty. I leave the, a lot of people take the bows off that come with these wreaths. They're fine for me. I'm not going to redo bows. I guess I'm not that bougie or whatever. I'm just not uh, redoing bows. They're fine. I just fluff them out. Nothing really new over here. I have my Slogaburger Star Basket. I did throw some of this faux snow in it with Jingle Bells that I probably got from the Dollar Tree. And this is more of that dried um, pine cedar maybe. I think it might look like cedar. Here's just a garland I have. No lights and then these rusty bells garland that I put in it. Um, and then I have my little rusty antique tin with my little potato sack thing in it. And then I just have some of these kind of like that real touch stems from Michael's, my cotton and some berry picks. And then here is my new blanket ladder that I got from Hobby Lobby. I just want to back up. Sorry about that. So it's pretty tall. I put two blankets that I got from Marshalls. This one's like a big chunky green with gold specks. And then this is like a nice like cable knit. These little lights came from Target Dollar Spot probably three years ago. I have like six, seven strands of them. I just don't really use them anymore. These bells came from Joann's. I really like them because they're red, really tin, you know. So that's that. I got a new little Christmas tree from Home Depot this year. It does have fairy lights on and these little bell lights that go on. And then I bought these little 
rusty ornaments from rusty bell from walmart and that's from it came in a little basket and then this little sign is from joann's that says the name of the reindeers i just have a candle um like enamel holder from bath and body works a couple of years ago i've never seen it since i'm glad i was able to find it. i think it was in the store it was the only one this is a garland i believe but i couldn't get it untangled so i use it for like the um candle ring in my rocking chair i have two pillows this is from joann's and this one i don't remember where that's from might be kirkland's with a new fuzzy so soft blanket from tj maxx and then i have my little gold sign up there that came from big lots and my three baskets that i decorate um put stuff in every year so we have the cotton then we have like this long stringy like a hanging one vine we have the berries in there um most of it came from either michael's or joann's the picks not the cotton the cotton we had oh i forgot to show you my little like this is like a dupe i don't know if it's crate and barrel anthropology that came from aldi's that um big reindeer um and then i have two little ones over here from joann's which are supposed to be like the dupes too and here's my little luna hi baby girl and then nothing up there then on my coffee table sorry um i just have my longer burger basket and the riser i have these two little deer i got from uh walmart they look like vintage and then this little tree from walmart and that is it for the house tour that's everything i have let me just go around this my little luna my little setup and that is it hope you guys enjoyed um please give this a thumbs up and like and subscribe if you're not and i will see you in my next video thanks and have a merry christmas everyone